pledging the federal government's full support after visiting the site of the devastating condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. Mr. Biden took time out to visit a memorial fence covered in photos and flowers and met with victims' families and the first responders who worked tirelessly to find survivors. To date, the death toll stands at 18, with 140 people still missing. Search efforts are back underway right now after they were halted yesterday due to concerns about the stability of the still-standing portion of the building. Laura Podesta is following the latest developments. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Diane. Yes, work resumed shortly before 5 p.m. yesterday, but there are still concerns about how the rest of the building is holding up. The machinery that crews are using create vibrations that can make the stable, that can make the structure very unstable. And crews are constantly monitoring existing cracks to see if they're getting any larger. The plan is to eventually bring the rest of the building down. Officials are planning for the likely demolition of the part of the building still standing in Surfside, Florida, even as rescue crews continue their work. This is a decision that we need to make extremely carefully and methodically as we consider all the possible impacts to the pile of debris and to our search and rescue operation. That search operation was halted for 15 hours on Thursday after discovering part of the structure had shifted. Our monitors went off. Uh, we're, we're monitoring the crack. We had three uh, that signaled there there was some expansion or whichever with those cracks. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden visited the community yesterday. What you're doing here is incredible. The Bidens met with first responders, paid their respects at the Wall of Hope and Memorial, and spoke with families who are missing loved ones. The whole nation is pointing with these families. They see it every day on television. They're going through hell. Acting as consoler in chief, Mr. Biden drew on his own experience of loss when his wife and daughter were killed in a car accident in 1972. It's bad enough to lose somebody. But the hard part, the really hard part, is to not know whether they're surviving or not. Just not have any idea. The president pledged the federal government would cover 100% of the search and rescue cost for the first 30 days. Officials and rescue workers are closely watching tropical storm Elsa as she turns toward Florida. She could possibly turn into a hurricane early next week, Diane. Laura Podesta in New York. Laura, thank you.